Hi everyone, Ms. Sheehan here. Today we're going to learn how to write and name compounds with polyatomic ions. It's very similar to video 2 where you named how to write and name compounds for monoatomic ions. So, some ionic compounds contain polyatomic ions. Polyatomic ions, if you remember from last chapter, is groups of atoms that are covalently bonded and have a charge. Those groups of atoms have either gained or lost electrons so that the central atom gets an octet, as well as every other atom, with the exception of hydrogen. If you remember, hydrogen gets a duet. So these neutral, these charged groups of atoms are going to form neutral compounds with cations. Most polyatomic ions are anions. That means that they are negatively charged. Most of these are actually called oxyanions because they contain oxygen in their structure. Sometimes a group of elements can form more than one oxyanion, which means it's got more than one name. So here's a chart that I gave you in class of some of the common polyatomic ions. If you notice, some of them, such as NO2, which is the sixth or seventh polyatomic ion in the right-hand column, has a name of nitrite, where NO3 has a name of nitrate. You know, that happens for several of these compounds, two elements, one of them being oxygen, making more than one polyatomic ion. If you notice on the very far right side of your screen, there's only one polyatomic cation, and that's the ammonium ion. It's got a plus one charge. So we're going to use these polyatomic ions to create ionic compounds. So what's up with the 8 and the it? The PO4 minus 3 and the PO3 minus 3. If you noticed, we had, just like I did with the example with the NO2 and the NO3, there's one less oxygen in the PO3 than there is in the PO4. The greater number of oxygen atoms ends in 8, and the lesser amount, the fewer amount, ends in 8, which is perfectly acceptable. I'm not going to have you remember that. I just wanted you to, you to know why the difference. Okay, one has more oxygen atoms, one has less oxygen atoms. Use your charts, look these up, and name them. I want you to become very familiar with the polyatomic ion chart that I gave you. You have NO3 minus one charge, SO4 minus two charge, SO3 minus two charge, and NH4 positive one, the only polyatomic cation. So when you're done naming those, you can bring them in and we'll talk about them in class. Let's learn about writing formulas with polyatomic ions. You gotta look at the ions and balance their charges to create the formula. If you remember, all formulas are electrically neutral. The easiest way to balance charges is to crisscross them. If there is more than one polyatomic ion in the formula, we want to put parentheses around it and the subscript for the polyatomic ion on the outside of the parentheses. For example, magnesium with a plus two charge and phosphate with a minus three charge, we'd put parentheses around the phosphate crisscross the charges, you'd end up with Mg3PO4 in parentheses 2. So let's look at how I got that. There's your two polyatomic ions. Well, there's your two ions. One is polyatomic. Notice the 2 and the 3 are in red. Um, they're in yellow. We're going to crisscross those charges to get the formula. 
Mg3PO42. Now, let's try another one. We got potassium with a plus one charge and nitrate, NO3, with a minus two charge. Same thing. You've got one and two. You want to crisscross those charges to get the formula K2SO3, one. You don't need to write the parentheses or the number one if there's only one polyatomic ion. If you feel more comfortable writing it as you're getting started, I have no problem with that. But recognize the fact that if there's one polyatomic ion, you do not need the parentheses. I want you to write these formulas tonight, and we will go over them for homework. Okay? Now, how about naming ionic compounds with polyatomic ions? Well, just like in monoatomic ionic compounds, you name the cation with the element's name. Name a monoatomic anion by changing the ending to ide, and the polyatomic ion has its own name, and that does not change. You're going to have to look them up on the sheet that I gave you in class and name the polyatomic ions with the polyatomic ion name. Don't change the name. Don't change the subscripts on the polyatomic ions or the elements that make it up. It is what it is. Li plus 1 and NO3 minus 1. Notice the charges are equal but opposite. So there's a one-to-one -one ratio that makes up the neutral compound, LiNO3. It's lithium nitrate. The cation keeps its metal name, and the NO3 keeps its polyatomic ion name. So I want you to name these compounds using your polyatomic ion chart. CaHCO3-2. This compound comes from the Ca plus 2 ion and the HCO3 minus 1 ion. So look up the HCO3 minus 1 ion's name on the chart. You should know what Ca is. Calcium and hydrogen carbonate. So that's its name calcium hydrogen carbonate. Just name the parts. No name changes. You try these. The answers will be given in class. You have NH4, NO3, and I put a little hint there. These are two polyatomic ions. SR3PO4, 2, ZN, NO2, 2, and MgCO3. I'll see you in class.